It's giving Black Barbie vibes. Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. My YouTube channel consists of content based around makeup tutorials. I sprinkle in a little bit of hair tutorials every now and then. We do some skincare as well as lifestyle with vlogs. I have all the playlists for my videos listed in the description box down below, so make sure that you do check that out. As well as clicking that subscribe button. Become a part of the family. We'd love to have you here. Kick off your shoes, take off your jacket, stay a while. Okay, and if you've already been here as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. Now in today's video, we are going to be doing this makeup look as well as doing a little bit of styling on this hair. This unit is from I Show Hair. This is their 24 inch loose deep frontal wig. It's the 13 by four parting space. This is the hair in its natural state. I believe this lace is transparent lace just based on the fact that it is giving scalp. Okay, I did some swirly baby hairs because I was just feeling very girly today. And I love the way that this entire look turned out. So shout out to I Show Hair for partnering with me in today's video. I'll have all of the details about the hair listed in the description box down below, as well as all the products that I use to achieve this look. So if you are interested and you wanna see how I got this very pretty girly, purple, lilac, I don't know. <laughs> makeup look then keep on watching okay, so we can go ahead and get started i'm using this elf holy hydration face cream one thing that i do want to tell you guys who are oily please stop feeling like you shouldn't moisturize your skin just because you're oily i used to be like that and i kid you not it makes all the difference in the world when you moisturize your skin just because you're oily does not mean that your natural oils are what's going to keep your skin moisturized you may notice that you have like excessive oils or excessive sebum production which is just oil production you may notice that you have an excessive amount of oil being produced on your skin because your skin is basically going into panic mode when it's dry so what it's doing is it's producing extra oils to try to combat that dryness. So make sure that you are moisturizing and I got it all in my hair, girl. But yeah, make sure that you are moisturizing your skin. Oily, dry, combination, whatever skin type you have, moisturize. I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I keep going back and forth with the type of makeup looks that I'm into. Like one minute I'm into really dewy makeup looks and just keeping it very simple and then the next minute I'm into like full and then the next minute I'm into like full glam and today we're doing full glam. <laughs> I've been looking like a total bum this whole week actually for like the last two weeks and I'm like no girl pull yourself together do your hair do your makeup get yourself like feeling good about yourself okay and while i'm at it i'm gonna add some cuticle oil to my hands or to my cuticles because i hate when i'm watching my videos back and my hands are like ashy nails all crunchy skin around the nails looking crunchy like no i'm just using this cuticle oil pen that i got from i think it's pronounced lumi lumi nails I've been on TikTok like every single day and I've been watching so many videos and this makeup trend, it's actually a makeup trend that was around a long time ago and they just like keep recycling the trends. But anyway, so I've been wanting to try this on my channel for a while and I just never did it because I was kind of intimidated by it, honestly, but I'm going to do it today. We're going to do it. We're going we gonna to do it. I ain't going to do it, girl. I ain't going to do it. What's that? I did it. That's me. I know some of you guys hate to see me do concealer first. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm gonna do concealer first and I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. These are the multi-use sculpting concealers. I'm using the shades Cookie and Mocha. I've used these on my channel before. So I'm just gonna go in with Mocha first and apply that under my eyes the way that everyone has been doing their concealer lately. Okay. 
I'm gonna go in with Cookie. And this is just to highlight a little bit more. All right, so now we're gonna contour. I'm using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Black Walnut. I know I said I didn't like this contour shade, but after I blended it, I was like, oh, okay, this is actually a vibe, you know? So I'm gonna contour and I'm just gonna bring it down. So start up and we're gonna bring it down. And then I'm gonna try to go around my baby hairs as best I can, but if I can't, whatever. I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm just bring that from up by the brows. And then let's get this double chin gone. Double chin be gone. Now we're gonna go in with foundation and this is the star of the show, in my opinion, not really, but it's the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. It is the oil free, so matte foundation. And I'm just gonna squirt it onto my brush and do it, apply it like that. Okay. So basically you just apply the foundation in the area that you didn't put the, the concealer and contour. Let's go ahead and blend the concealer. I'm gonna try to blend fast because the foundation is oil free. So it might dry down fairly quickly and be kind of difficult to blend out. The contour is cream, so it's okay. For that but everything else I want to get to it kind of quick I'm moving on to foundation I'm gonna blend and you're just gonna try to work around the contour And I don't know if I told you guys the shade that I'm in in the foundation. I'm using the shade Chai. And I'm going to blend the contour. And this is pretty much going to mesh everything together seamlessly. Hopefully. <laughs> and you just want to make sure that you're blending down. Now that it's all blended together, I'm gonna go ahead and set. I have been obsessed with the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I'm using the shade Cassava, but let me show you guys what it is that I do that I've been loving. So, I may have showed this in another video. I can't remember, so I'm gonna show y'all again today. So I just take my brush, Real Techniques 402 brush, and I usually have all the brushes that I use in the description box down below, so make sure that you guys do check that out. But anyway, so I take my brush and I set the powder. I don't do a swiping motion, I just set the powder, or I just set the concealer. So you just press it, press it in. And I really like this powder because the color is perfect. It's a perfect blend of the yellow, but not too yellow. <laughs> and I'm gonna take that and go underneath the contour line. Just to really define it and 
snatch the face up. I'm gonna take this to Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. So I forgot to set my contour and I wanna do that because it's a cream. So I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW50. And doing this just adds the perfect amount of warmth and depth to my face. So it's not too overdone and it meshes well with the other face powders. So to get started on the eyes, I'm gonna use this KKW Beauty. This is the Opalescent Pressed Powder Palette. I wasn't gonna use this because I couldn't find it anywhere online. I don't know where it's available anymore, but I haven't had the opportunity to be able to use this palette really. And the colors are just so pretty, especially these purples. I really wanna use these. If I can find a dupe, I will, or if anyone knows of a dupe, please list it in the comments down below for anyone who may be interested. I just didn't wanna pass up the opportunity to be able to use this, plus I have a really cute shirt that I'm gonna put on that is gonna go so well with this. I do know that MAC does carry shades very similar to the ones that I'm gonna use today. And Max eyeshadows are definitely top tier. So just know I did try to look, search high and low for dupes on this palette and I couldn't really find any. So I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna go into this brown shade here and it's a cool tone brown. So I'm gonna use that in my crease. And I'm using a fluffy blending brush to blend this out. With the crease colors, I don't care to be super precise because it's pretty much just creating the base for the colors that I'm going to apply on the lid. And I'm just building up on that shade and bringing that up into the head of my brow. I'm gonna go in with a brush that's a little more dense and I'm gonna go back into that same brown. I'm just using this to get a little more color payoff. All right, so now I'm gonna go on to this very pretty lilac purple. Where is it, right here? Right there, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I don't want the amount of eye space that I have to deter you if you don't have as much eye space. All you have to do if you have smaller eyes or just less eye space, just bring the transition shade up more and that helps to create the illusion of wider eyes or more eyelid space. And I just blend out the edges with the same brush that I used to apply the crease color. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here and I'm gonna put that on the outer part. Just place that on the outer part of my eye. I really just wanna get the most, <laughs> get the most out of this palette because I don't know when the next time that I'll be using it, so. I'm gonna go on my lid and I'm gonna go into this no, I'm gonna go into this shade here. It's a lilac purple, very similar to that one. It just has shimmer in it. And I'm just gonna put that on top of the lilac shade that I put on my lid. I'm gonna slightly fade it into this darker purple that I put at the outer edge of my eye. And I'm gonna put a little bit in the inner corner, a little bit of that purple shimmer. I'm gonna take this dark brown NYX Epic Wear Liner in the shade Deepest Brown, and I'm just going to line the outer part of my eye 
just to give my eye a little more of a lifted look just to give my eyes a little more of a lifted look this look really does not need any liner so if you don't want to do it don't <laughs> so for lashes i'm going to apply no filter by i make lux lashes Okay, so now for the lower lash line, I'm going to pretty much do what I did up top on bottom. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the dark brown, or I, I keep calling this a dark brown. It's more of like a chocolate brown. And I'm just gonna dust that along my lower lash line. I'm gonna go into this purple and I'm going to dust that across the lower lash line as well. I'm gonna go on my waterline using this liner. It's the Cream Gel Liner by ColourPop. I'm gonna put some mascara. This is the Kush Mascara by Milk. I'm gonna use this Nargasm, <laughs> Nargasm, Orgasm Blush by NARS. I tried to say it together, NARS Orgasm. But this is the NARS Orgasm X blush i'm gonna use this this one is very peachy but it has like that shimmer in it so i don't need any highlight you see this this is so this is so pretty it's so pretty it's so girly it's so feminine this is so me and we're gonna dust a little bit over our nose that was a little too much. Just a little too much. Time for lips. My best friend actually put me on this Juvia's Place bronzed lip liners. She said they're really good, so we're gonna give it a shot today. Oh, that's a pretty dark brown. Okay, what shade is this in? Lux Liner Brownie. Okay, so this is the Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Truffle. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go on top with the Truffle Gloss by Dose of Colors. Oh, that's so pink. So that's it for the makeup. It's giving black Barbie vibes. All right, now I'm gonna set it one more time using the same Benefit Professional Super Setter. I honestly like the way that my hair looks in its natural state, so I'm not gonna curl it, but I am gonna touch it up a little bit. This hair is from I Show Hair. This is their 24 inch loose deep wave frontal wig. And the lace is, I want to say it's transparent because honestly, like I didn't even tint this lace and look how good it looks. I did have to pluck this shit out of it, but this is what it's looking like. It's giving scalp. I just did a TikTok too. Today I'll insert it on the screen so you guys can see. But yeah, so I'm going to leave it in its natural state because I actually do like the way that it looks. But I'm going to press out the top part to flatten it out really good and i got this hot comb from the beauty supply store it's a smaller comb and i really like the smaller one better because i feel like it really just gets in there good and gets it nice and flat oh i don't want to burn myself 
And then I'm gonna do a little bit right here in the front. I like the way it looks behind my ears. So cute. I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I'm just gonna wet it. Just so that it's not as frizzy. I'm not gonna put any other product on it because this hair did not need any product. It's just good on its own, so. I'm not going to add any product to it, except for water. Alright, now I'm going to take, I'm going to take a little bit of the Got To Be Glued Spray. And I'm just going to put it here in the front. And then take my edge brush. I just like when it looks like that lifted. It's like slightly lifted here. I just like that look. For my baby hairs, I already laid them prior to filming because I already have a baby hair tutorial video on my channel so you guys can just check that out. But this one right here is not laying right. So all I do is just take mousse. Well, after I curl them, I just take mousse, put like a little bit, only need a little bit. And I just put put it on the baby hair. After I curl it, I put it on the baby hair. And then I lay it down. Like so. This hair is perfect for summer because it has that natural wave to it. I just feel like I've been tired of wearing my hair slick into a bun and I've been tired of the same hairstyle. That's why I was like, let me get up today. Let me put on this wig. Let me do my makeup. Let me look like something other than what I've been looking like for the last few weeks. So let me go ahead and put my clothes on real quick and then I'll be right back with the finished look. Hold on one second. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of perfume. This is Lancome's perfume. And I'm just gonna add a little bit. It's the perfect scent for this look, I feel like. There are certain scents that go with certain looks. This one just gives very light, airy, fresh, but still mm, glam. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. Again, special shout out to I Show Hair for partnering with me in today's video. I will have all of the details about the hair as well as the products that I used in today's video in the description box down below. So make sure that you guys do check that out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your support on my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh,